We're back in Stirling, where four food-loving locals have been competing to be named the host or hostess with the most or mostess. Tonight, it's Mary's time to shine, and she's put on a splendid show for her guests at the castle. There was much excitement when the guests realised they'd be dining in the magnificent Great Hall. Now, now, one at a time, please. We've already seen Mary checking everything was tickety-boo down in the castle kitchens. It was an interesting taste test, but the sauce got the royal seal of approval. Yum. Meanwhile, the guests were enjoying a pre-dinner promenade. Why so stony-faced? And there was time for a right regal recce around the palace. That's what you get for being nosy, mate. We might have to report whatever was going on here to the treasurer. We're sure he put it back. Maybe. Hope so. Anyone for real tennis? On your head, son! Talking of heads, then it was time to face the food. The food on the moving stage caused problems for some. Others were super impressed by the servants dressed as mythical creatures. Then it was time for the entertainment. Mary really pushed the boat out with this one. Theatrical performances? Tick. A mock attack of a pasteboard fortress? You got it. Fireworks and cannon fire illuminating the night sky? Of course. Hope he cheers up before the guests give their scores. What? That's happening now? Oh dear. The food was very tasty and I really enjoyed how Mary had that moving mechanical stage. I wish I could have done that for my meal. I also loved the fireworks and the cannon fire. Oh, even though my ears are ringing a bit now. I'm glad I was not working at this event and that I don't have to tidy up either. Tonight, I'm going to give Mary a seven. Strong start. Uh-oh. Well, I've, I've eaten here a good few times before, you know, so... I knew the food was going to be absolutely brilliant and plentiful, that's the important part. But what really blew me away was the entertainment. I mean, Mary must have spent an age building that funny bee forest all by herself. And that mock battle, that was good to watch. It was loud, but it was fun. <sighs> well, frankly, it boots the gesture that I bought for my banquet. Well, looks pathetic in comparison, doesn't it? Anyway, tonight, Matthew, I'm giving Mary an eight. An eight. I'm off for a kip. You can return those ears while you're at it. I mean, it was impressive and everything, but was it no a wee bit ever lying? I like a good party as much as the next person, but three days, really? Also, where on earth was Lord Darnley? He's the king of this country, after all. Him not attending shows all the grace you're reversing mid and care with no wheels. Anyway, it's my banquet next, and I don't think I'll need to show off quite as much as the Queen. I'll let my food do the talking, and my wife might actually bother to say hello. Tonight, I'm giving Mary a five, and she's lucky to be getting that. Well, I guess you can't please everyone. Will Mary be crowned Queen of Scran as well as Queen of Scots? We'll find out in the next episode. Good night!